During the mid-80s, someone attached articulated wheels to a pickup truck and a monster truck was born. Soon after this, someone actually attached the same wheels to a beetle. Yeah, an actual beetle. And then the monster beetle was born. Tamiya then produced a radio-controlled kit based on this Californian theme. The Tamiya Monster Beetle was an awesome kit. With its huge wheels and high suspension, it could literally drive over anything. You could just about take it anywhere. And it looked just fantastic. And this is the kit we're going to look at today. And here it is. Now, I don't own this myself, but I am fortunate enough to look after this for my stepson. And just look at the condition of this kit. This kit, I know for a fact, was actually bought in 1989. It's 25 years old, but it looks fantastic. It really looks that I could have got into a time machine this morning, gone back to 1989, gone into a model shop and just pulled it off the shelf. It's absolutely perfect. The body shell itself is a much thicker and tougher plastic than you find with my Porsche 959. It really looks like it was made to take a few knocks. And when you pick this thing up, it is seriously chunky. It's actually got some real weight behind it. It feels much more solid than just, say, a toy. I think at one stage it may have had a sunroof fitted. I think that might be missing. Perhaps you could you know, leave me a comment if you can confirm that. But the good news is that the power connectors are not corroded as in my 959. So although the battery is quite weak, I think it's actually going to work. This is the original 25-year-old controller. And uh, hopefully that will work as well. There's no reason why it shouldn't. So what a fantastic car. I really love these kind of new in-box kind of feel items. I think they're just great. Let's take the top off and have a look inside. Looks like the little fella that drove it has fallen down. So that needs to be stuck back inside the body there somehow. Much like the body shell, the chassis is robust and well made. It looks like it was built to take some abuse. Just look at these damper shock absorbers. I mean they're huge. There's just so much suspension travel. And I know they're pretty stiff right now. In fact, they probably could do with the oil to be changed. I mean, this, this thing would just probably go over anything. Also, the speed controller seems to be actually enclosed in its own plastic box. I've got one of these servo auxiliary power packs again. And moving to the back, this motor looks like it could be an upgrade. I don't think that's actually a Tamiya motor. If anyone knows, just uh, leave a comment and these huge great shock dampers here I mean these things are absolutely massive loads of suspension travel at the rear once again they certainly need some new oil they're very very stiff but uh, yeah it all, seems to, it all seems to still work I mean bear in mind this is 25 years old um, absolutely fantastic model and then just check out these tyres they seem to be pneumatic and when you look quite closely if you look at the rim of the actual wheel there are some very tiny little air holes which actually let the air out so these things would all work as part of the suspension I'm sure if you went into a curb or something they would slightly deflate to actually take the shock of the impact so there you go I just need to charge the battery a little and then just sort of take it out in the garden and see if it runs but I'm pretty sure it will as with the 959 I won't be using this auxiliary power pack so I just haven't got as many batteries as I actually need And there we go, here we are out in the garden. The battery is very weak, unfortunately, but look, it absolutely it goes, it's fantastic. It, it, with a new battery, this would absolutely be tearing up the grass with those wheels. Mind you, having said that, I would hate to actually roll this thing. Even to scuff up those decals would be such a shame, because it's such a perfect model. It's just awesome. So I think we'll bring this to a close now. I hope you've enjoyed a look at this Tamiya 1989 Monster Beetle. And if you're into these radio control cars, be sure to check out my Tamiya Porsche 959 video. If you enjoy these retro things, then please give me a thumbs up. I always do appreciate that. But just for now, I'd like to say once again, thanks for watching.